Texas A&M checks into their headquarters in Montgomery, Alabama. They'll bust down to Auburn tomorrow night to play the Tigers. We've got Ricky Seals-Jones, wide receiver, with us right now. And a little different feel to this, your first two games at Kyle Field this year, but now you're hitting the road for the first time. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a business trip as always, you know, home or away. You know, we're, we're here to take care of business and uh, get back to Texas. <laughs> When you look at the Auburn defense on film, what becomes the keys for you in this offense? Uh, they're, they're big. They're fast. You know, they're an SEC team. You know, we just got to buckle down and, and bring our own energy, and uh, we'll be all right. You've played in SEC road venues for a little while. What's your advice to the younger guys that haven't done it yet? Uh, just stay calm, you know. Uh, just just relax and, and play your game, and everything will come to you. You know, if you go in there and start listening to the noise, it'll get you out your game with secondaries coach Terry Joseph of the Aggies in Auburn tomorrow night and just first year group through two games they were highly touted going in but are they playing like you have expected them to play because what we see they've looked pretty good through two games so far you know yeah I mean obviously when you got some new players in there you got to kind of get the chemistry going and through the first two games we have to work some kinks out um, I thought last week was better than the UCLA game and hopefully we can continue to improve you know, at, at that corner spot, we're playing more guys, but also that, that, that hurts the chemistry a little bit. So the more snaps that we can get as a unit, the better off we'll be. Now, Auburn, uh, before the season and through the first game, they played multiple quarterbacks, but the, perhaps they've settled on Sean White because he did look very good last week. In your prep, does who the quarterback is for the opponent mean a whole lot? Do you have to look at that a whole bunch? Yeah, especially when you face an offense like Auburn because it changes with each quarterback. Uh, the thing about their offense with all three of those guys, they're all a threat to run and they can escape some pressure. So you got to kind of be a little bit di more disciplined on how you rush the passer and not come out of coverage because each one of those guys present a different problem for you. So, you know, just like last year's game, we were preparing for one guy and another guy played. So you got to be ready to face all three of them, and they're also going to put some of their other position players at quarterback. So it's a tremendous challenge for us defensively because you have to understand who's in the game for them. Thank you. Trevor Knight, Aggie quarterback in Montgomery, Alabama, on a Friday night. And uh, tomorrow, first road game of the year, your first two have been in Kyle Field. Any different feel to this, taking the team out on the road and playing in what is expected to be another hostile environment in the SEC? Yeah, you know, it is a little bit different feel. You get on a plane, you have to deal with that, and you're in a different place. Um, but our preparation this week has been awesome. Um, I feel like we've had a really great week of practice. Um, for an Auburn team that's, that's playing a really good football right now, you know, holding the number two team in the country to 19 points the first week, they're a stout defense, and uh, we're excited for the opportunity tomorrow. And then I don't know if any offense can click after two games. I mean, this is a 12-game season over three months. How close are you guys to being, I guess, completely in sync with the offense, seeing as it's just a couple of contests under your belt? Yeah, I agree with you. I don't think there's any way of saying that we're, you know, figured it all out after two weeks. Um, it's a season-long deal, and, and our whole goal is to get one week better each week and uh, hopefully be peaking the time of SEC championship, going into the playoffs, things like that. Uh, but right now we're focused on one week better, so we want to play better tomorrow than we did last week. Good luck tomorrow night against the Tigers. Thank you so much.